I'm going to be talking about Mag. Mostly because I've been running into a lot of players who have no idea what they're doing. And it's starting to piss me off. The first thing is sabotage. Sabotage is simple, okay? But your squad leaders need to communicate, okay? You, you need a headset for this game. On to acquisition. Now, th this is where things actually start to get interesting. Um, your first and foremost, your absolutely most important objective is the front gate. Okay? The front gate stays up, their APCs don't get in. Even if they get their APCs in, the front gates stay up, your prototype transport does not get out. I'm also a big fan of keeping roadblocks up. Another thing that's as important as your front gate is your AAA, your anti-air. Your mortars and your sensor rate, they're not really that important. And push comes to shove, you sacrifice them to keep up your front gate and keep up your anti-air. <clears throat> Because once the anti-air comes down, you've got enemies coming in from behind you and in front of you if they switch spawns. It just... You, you can't keep up once the anti-air's gone down. Your only hope is to fall back to where the transports are stored and defend it from there. Then maybe if you've got a strong team and good teamwork, then maybe try and push forward, get up the anti-air, then get up the bunkers and then the gate. And I say the bunkers first because once the bunkers are up, it's a lot easier to get the gate up. You've got the turrets on the bunkers for defence, and you've got a spawn point right next to the gate. Now, if you don't have a bunker right on the gate, then your job is to defend your flanks. Because your flanks are going to be your weakest point any time that you're not on the front gate. You want to help keep up the anti-air. That is your most important job, apart from stopping them from getting to your bunker. But, once again, you sacrifice your bunker to keep up your anti-air. You, it, you cannot let yourself over-defend the bunkers. And I'll get to that in Domination as well. Because it's, it becomes even more of an issue. But the, the two bunkers on the gate defend the gate. Your frago should be on the gate, not the bunker. It, I, I, it bugs me whenever I see a squad leader who's obviously still fairly new or just doesn't understand tactics. Which is fair enough. Not, not everyone can grasp, you know, more advanced tactics than running and shooting someone. <coughs> God. <coughs> anyway. So the front gate has to stay up. You know, whenever I'm squad leader, the front gate is the objective. Forget the transports at the back. Okay? But sometimes you just can't get that air, all that back up. So you fall back and you defend at the transports. Now, onto Domination. Domination is an extremely complex game type. It, it's, it's simple and it's complicated. I mean, you've got your burn-off towers, then your cooling towers, and then your objectives. You don't want to set your fragger as the bunker unless the enemy is coming for your bunker more than it's going for the first burn-off tower. You defend the burn-off tower. The burn-off towers don't fall, they don't even unlock the cooling towers. And unless they can destroy the cooling towers, they're not getting to the objectives and they can't do any damage. There, you win. Simple. But, on the other hand, you want to keep the bunkers up because it makes defending the burn-off towers and the cooling towers easier. It's more important for the burn-off towers because they're further forward. But the cooling towers, it does help a bit as well. But, once the objectives have been unlocked, you need to abandon the bunker. You, if the bunker's still up, you change spawns and you get back to the back spawn so you can defend the objectives. Sometimes keeping the bunker up can work and it holds them back. But if the, especially if the anti-air goes down. If the anti-air's down, forget the bunker altogether. Try and get the anti-air back up. But in, in Domination, the anti-air is important, but not quite as important as it is in acquisition. Um, in domination, it's actually a little... I, I feel it's a little bit more important to keep your artillery up than it is in acquisition, but still not as important as your anti-air. But I'd, I'd like to come back to this again, because it bugs me so much when squad leaders worry about the bunkers once the objectives have been unlocked. Defending those objectives is all you do once they're unlocked. 
You need to forget your bunkers. You need to forget everything. Okay? Unless the objectives are well defended. If your objectives are well secured and the enemy is not taking them, then start thinking about getting your artillery back up, getting your anti-air back up, which you shouldn't have let fall in the first place. Getting your bunkers back up to slow them down before they even get in. Um, it's just... You, you need to understand tactics before you even play this game, really. If you don't understand what I'm on about, don't even apply for squad leader, let alone platoon and IC. Okay? Because you're just going to piss people off. Um, another thing, in acquisition. The APCs that you come in on are not tanks. I, I know this especially for Raven at least. On, and even more so on the server map. When I see people driving the APC straight across the bridge, it's only going to get you killed. Okay? I've said this enough times. But now I'm saying it with my face here, okay? You cannot use them as tanks. They will get destroyed by those bunkers. What you need to do is bring them forward, park them, and use them as forward spawns. Then, once the bunkers are destroyed, you bring them in to help, maybe help with the gate. Maybe wait till the gate's down, then roll them in and use them as forward spawns. They can let you spawn further forward than helicopters, for one. Uh, further forward than an airdrop sometimes, but it's a little bit touch and go there. But I, I know for a fact, uh, we used to play in the beta, me and my clan, and um, we'd have the APCs right up their asses, basically. We, we wouldn't even bother spawning at the helicopters. We'd be spawning in the APCs, although at that point, the APCs were stronger because they not only had the cannon but the machine gun. But still, they are an, a very effective tool. Um, but you just you can't use them as tanks. Just that bugs me because they're, the APCs are a great forward spawn and you're just going to get them destroyed, get yourself killed and slow down the entire assault. Um, that's, all, that's all for um, this tips and tricks and tactics and whatnot. Um, hopefully this has helped you to actually think about what you're doing and not be complete idiots. Um, MAG is not about kill-death ratio, it's about objectives. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope this has helped your gameplay in MAG, and, um, yeah, good luck.